just these characters that are just so like narcissistic. This is not what I ever would have wanted, but I'm so grateful. Drive-by movies you're watching. Fresh releases. My name's Blaze. And my name is James. And this week we're talking about Netflix's original film, May December. You're crazy. Twenty years after the notorious tabloid romance gripped the nation, a married couple buckles under pressure when an actress arrives to do research for a film about their past. So Netflix pushed this movie out and I didn't really watch any trailers for it. I just kind of saw like little mini clips being played when you hover over the movie on Netflix. And I was just on board just to see Natalie Portman in a movie just because it's been a long time. I know she's still been doing work here and there, but I've really liked her work that she's been doing when she's kind of like taking a step back more recently with some of her roles. Um, Annihilation is still one of the best movies I've seen of the decade, I feel like. And uh, this movie uh, just caught me uh, caught my attention just because I was hurt hearing that it was getting great word of mouth from the people I was following on Letterboxd. So that got me excited. And Blaze, what are your initial thoughts before I get into mine? So, yeah, this was definitely a film that I feel like has been talked a lot about, especially in the letterbox community, which me and you are definitely part of that community. So we've seen a lot of reviews popping up, ratings, all that good stuff. But yeah, this is a film where I it always I feel like every Todd Haynes movie comes out and I hear people just talk about Todd Haynes and then I'm like, look at Todd Haynes filmography. I'm like, have I seen any of his movies? And then like, <laughs> and then like four years pass and then the same thing happens. And I'm like, wait, have I seen any of his movies? And now finally, I guess I can say I've seen a Todd Haynes movie. Although while before, uh, you know, we shoot this, I did check like again, like, okay, have I watched any? And I have watched the Bob Dylan movie that he did. I can't really, I watched it so long ago. I can't really tell you if I enjoyed it a ton or not. I like that it was in different vignettes and stuff, but yeah, getting back to May, December, I felt that like this film was definitely playing towards a certain crowd. There's elements that I really like towards it. A lot of that is really the acting, obviously. I think the script is pretty tight, but then there are elements that I actually really don't like about the movie. Like the music, I felt like I, I kind of see what he was doing there, but I just, I really hated the music throughout the film. Um, and then there's, there's some elements here and there, which I just kind of feel lukewarm about. But overall, I'd say that this is an excellent movie. Do I love it? I'm not sure if I stand on, on that fence, but yeah, what'd you think about this film, James? Yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I actually love the music. Uh, it, it does stand out a lot, though. It is like, I guess you could say distracting in a way. Like, I know how a lot of people found the music in Oppenheimer pretty distracting, uh, kind of being in that same tone and realm within for this movie, because it's very outlandish and definitely sticks out amongst a lot of the scenes. Um, the tone of this movie, I'd say overall is kind of my main problem with the movie but overall i absolutely loved it and thought it was fantastic mainly for the performances and this bizarre horrifying story this movie is telling like i know it's based off of or it's not based it's inspired off of a true story essentially but i really like this concept of just kind of natalie portman playing not so much a method actress, but like you can see she's kind of going in that direction. And some of those moments kind of come off comedic, but overall this is a horrifying subject matter that this movie's exploring. So it's hard to take like in this comedic tone at times, especially like in the sense of the music you're saying. I did like the music though a lot though, just cause like the way it ends on the sudden just note would just like, was like horrific to me at times, but. Yeah, overall, it's kind of based off the expense of the character played by uh, Charles Melton. He plays a character, Joe. Just, uh, I feel bad for him throughout the movie and stuff just because, you know, he never had that sense of just being a child. Just you're 13 years old and you're a parent and we don't get to see kind of that. We see like clips of like the tabloids kind of, but we don't really get a sense of what it was for it, what it was like for him to grow up. But I mean, you could, it's horrific where my mind was going just to putting myself in his shoes. Like, 
my God, this poor guy, like if I was 13 years old and put it in his shoes, like I would not be like, you know, it's really hard to deal with. And like, this is based off like, you know, inspired by a true story. And, you know, I'm sure there's multiple other stories that are very reminiscent to this. So, you know, I found that tone just a little weird. Yeah, I mean, we don't really get to see too much of that perspective beyond just, you know, the characters kind of interactions and explaining, you know, certain things about like, uh what happened i liked uh, one of my things i liked about this film was i liked uh i think his character is georgie but her one of her sons who's was yes, friends correct. with joe and literally he he like says like that ruined my life like you know that that whole instance like my best friend kind of slept or my mom slept with my best friend and just kind of essentially ruined his life that character i don't know if it was all cracked out to what he says because later on in the film there's kind of an interesting scene with him that he's trying to essentially blackmail uh natalie portman for a for a career move i guess in a way and then you start to wonder like is he telling the truth about certain things is it all like a ploy um essentially just to you know curtail his career i guess in a way because he's a musician and he wants to become a music supervisor on uh natalie portman's next film so yeah there's a lot going on in this movie i think it's really rich it probably does it, it can you know it, a second viewing or multiple viewings can be enjoyed in this movie because there's almost just so much that goes into this film especially throughout the script and a lot of the symbolism i think was one of the main things i mean you look at joe and his character is kind of like uh, taking care of these monarchs he's part of this society where he takes care of monarch butterflies because out in the wild it's it's almost too dangerous they want to increase the monarchs uh numbers and it reminded me of one time where uh i was on a road trip and honestly we were driving and then our windshield was just like orange because so many monarchs <laughs> like literally flew into like the windshield and then every car when we were at a rest stop were just covered in monarch but it was kind of sad if you think about it but yeah i thought mm -hmm. like that's that whole like symbolism of him like protecting these monarchs similar to obviously to like him and how no one really like protected him from like what essentially is a, a, a child predator you know right and then just that that uh the heartbreak i felt in that scene where just like he finally confronts or like you know spoilers but like you know of course that scene was needed but would have loved to seen more of it too just because but the way it was just shut down well like well you uh came on to me you seduced me i was just like oh my gosh you are a 36 year old woman like what the hell <laughs> blaming a 13 year old for seducing you what kind of crap is that and it's just horrifying and uh what also really caught me off guard was uh my girlfriend she's from savannah and i went to go visit her uh, and her family and uh i was just in savannah like a month and a half ago in a lot of locations within this movie like it's, you know it's a city but it's not big like san diego where you are blaze or los angeles where i am but you know a lot of stuff was still recognizable and uh just caught me off guard i thought that was pretty fun uh just seeing that i was uh had just been there and everything and recognized a lot of locations but um yeah just some of the spots too though from what i heard a lot of people are kind of like that where just people like would try to blackmail their way the moment they get to shine where meeting like an actress who might be in town and stuff like of course someone would try to do something like kind of scammy like that and uh you know like i really enjoyed that scene and uh one thing to kind of elaborate also on what you were saying which is like you know like characters like georgie this show this movie for two hours like uh, I again another movie that's two hours uh, or slightly above two hours that I didn't mind being so long just because the subject matter just kind of kept me interested throughout. Um, but this actually would have made a great mini series. I felt like where you could have focused on each person per episode, basically of her just kind of following and just like you know seeing the more like weird descent into this uh, you know kind of uh, uh, method acting that Natalie Portman could have went into. But yeah, just something I thought like could have worked well. Yeah, I think it was definitely rich enough where it could be, but I had to appreciate the idea of just it being, you know, a two hour movie that feels like it's jam packed full of, you know, there's something there. It's not just scenes that are literally trying to push you to the next scene where something's actually going to happen. It felt like everything was just kind of trying to lay the groundwork almost perfectly so i did really enjoy that aspect um and then to get in a little bit to like 
just these characters that are just so like narcissistic i mean if we look at to get i guess a little into spoilers like the ending scene i felt like was so impactful with just seeing natalie portman's character who is honestly almost embodied uh julianne moore's character throughout the movie she kind of metamorphosized into like julianne moore's character i mean she even sleeps with joe at one point and then after you know joe's three pump chump like basically (laughs) just (laughs) kind of like explains like this is what adults do and you know he's not from what we've seen throughout the film like he's not an adult he's not a he's got arrested development essentially and you know like to see her at the end kind of almost like caressing this this uh this actor's portrayal of joe and like really embodying the scene and like can we do that one more take like really each scene like they're going over it and over it and like she's just like falling deeper and deeper into that character that she's been transformed throughout the course of this film like i thought that that film was probably my favorite obviously i mean it's a i think it's a great ending to what the rest of the film was yeah absolutely and uh would have loved to see what that movie would have came out as also. And just like, you know, some of the things that she was saying to the director over the phone to earlier on in the movie as well, too. Like she was really like, you know, becoming exactly uh, what you're saying. Uh, Julianne Moore's character, even uh, at the graduation scene, too. I was just like, oh, my God, they're wearing the same outfit. And it's not like they planned this, essentially. It's just uh, she just knows the character so well. She knows how she would dress and went and is becoming her essentially and you know it's a comedic i I see where the dark humor in this movie is uh because you you know as uh, as a filmmaker for todd haynes i'm sure and natalie portman you know they work in this industry they probably found a lot to laugh at within this movie and stuff and how actors egos would approach a situation uh like this or how they would approach the subject matter but, you know, for any aud- regular audience member, I could see them just finding that kind of bizarre in terms of tone. But luckily, you and I, you know, we've been around film for so long, you know, we kind of understood the tone just might not necessarily like resonate with us, like the way the filmmakers might have resonated with it. Um, but, yeah, I find it very interesting. I think it's a great movie, um, but I can see why some people might not. So let us know in the comments below. Great way to help support the show. It's on Netflix. Be sure to watch the movie and comment down below to let us know what you thought about the movie. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell to get all our latest updates. And be sure to catch all our other updates on our all our other social media accounts. We got Instagram, Twitter and TikTok, as well as our own personal letterbox accounts. That'll conclude this week's episode. Tune in next week for a brand new video.